Hi, my name is Dr Julie Ovington and I am one of the programme leaders on the Childhood Studies team here at the University of Sunderland. And this recording is being made because we have some great news to share with you um, and that we are now open to receive applications for our MA in Childhood and Youth Studies. And I'm joined today by the wonderful Dr Bruce Marjorie Banks, who is the reason behind the Masters. Um, and if I could just kickstart this off by asking you, Bruce, why did we need to develop the Masters? Thank you, Julie. Welcome, everyone. I would like to uh, give you some background to the development of this Masters of Arts in Childhood and New Studies. We at the University of Sunderland have been part of the Early Childhood Studies degree network for over 20 years. We were one of the first institutions in the, this country to actually develop a Bachelor of Arts in Childhood Studies. We're looking to attract students from a wide range of backgrounds, including education, childhood studies, community and youth work, as well as health and social care, to name a few. Um, public health, we've had people express interest as well. So what is the Masters actually about? Or how is it structured and what, what does it contain? The um, program is 180 credits in total. Right. Most modules are 30 credits each. So there's a total of five modules because one module is a double credit it's worth 60 credits, and that's a master's dissertation. We've developed three core modules that are everybody does take. And the first one is theorizing childhood and youth, whereby you're introduced to the dominant theories and dominant discourses surrounding childhood and youth. Mm -hmm. The second module is leadership, because in youth work or within childhood settings, leadership is actually very important because leadership does impact on the lives of children and young people. Another module that students are required, it's contemporary issues in childhood and youth studies where we look at, for example, we could be looking at the impact of COVID and how that's impacted on children and young people within the family unit. The other half of the program, there's two modules that are directly related to um, the early years graduate practitioner competencies and the youth work pathways. And my colleagues will be talking in more detail about those pathways. So is there any entry requirements that students have to kind of fulfill to get onto the master's? With regard to the master's program, we would expect you to have a degree in a relevant area. Mm -hmm. The ones that I have already mentioned, health and social care, childhood studies, sociology, and it's a minimum of a 2-1 degree classification. As program leader, I do have the discretion to um, accept a 2-2 degree, but we would expect some sort of work experience working with children and young people. And in particular for those people who want to undertake the youth work or the early years pathways, it's necessary that they actually have some experience working with children and young people. Is there an interview process for this or is it just a direct application? It is a direct application mm -hmm. and those individuals who want to go on to take the youth work and the early years competencies, they will be interviewed right. before being accepted onto the program. But if you're made an offer, um, if you're accepted for an interview, you're also guaranteed of being able to take the generic MA Childhood and New Studies. 
So I know you've kind of explained that we look at contemporary issues um, related to childhood. We look at issues around youth. We look at theorising all of these and working with the theory. But how are the students actually taught? What is it? How does that look at the moment? With the leadership module and the negotiated st studies um, to achieve the youth work standards and the competencies, there's a placement element attached to that. Right. And the way that we're actually delivering this program is that on each member, um, a member of the childhood studies team and a member from the community and youth work team will be co-teaching during the lecture and the seminar. And then we have breakout workshops at the very end where mm -hmm. the generic are with one tutor, a workshop for the youth work standards and a workshop for the year the year's competencies. The focus of those workshops are about developing your portfolio of evidence in order to make the professional standards yeah. and the competencies. So it certainly seems like this has been an interdisciplinary and collaborative approach between two teams here at the University of Sunderland. Um, it sounds like there's a really engaging kind of model of working there as well for our students. So how would they actually apply? They have to apply through UCAS. Yep. And the applications then are forwarded. And they can find that availability, isn't it, through the University of Sunderland website? There's an apply yes, now. They can. Yeah, brilliant. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, head over to the other ones um, to watch um, our two colleagues, Gail and Liz, introducing their sections or their, their part of this master's programme and find out more details. Thank you. Thank you.